Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we continue our drive in Frederick County, Virginia, beginning at Highway 11's Mile 323. We once again see the name Valley Pike, as we have throughout the Shenandoah Valley. Frederick County is Virginia's northernmost county, organized in 1743 from a portion of Orange County. The county was named for Frederick Lewis, Prince of Wales. The county originally covered what is now four additional Virginia counties and five counties that are now in West Virginia. Land in Frederick County was portioned out to form these nine other counties between 1754 and 1836, leaving us with the boundaries of Frederick County today. Frederick County had a population of 91,419 as of the 2020 census. Here we see a partial cloverleaf connecting US 11 to State Route 37, which interchanges with I-81 just to our east. State Route 37, called the Winchester Bypass, was first conceived in 1963 and now forms a half loop around the west side of the city of Winchester. We'll see the other end of State Route 37 once we've driven through Winchester. We enter the independent city of Winchester, which had a population of 28,120 as of the 2020 census. This will be the last independent city we'll pass through in Virginia, and since I've had so many questions in the comment section about the idea of independent cities, I'll give a little more explanation. An independent city is not part of any county, and is considered a primary division of its state, making it the same as a county. The governmental powers of an independent city are equal to that of a consolidated city-county, and something I've been overlooking is that New Orleans, Louisiana is a consolidated city parish. Parish is the same as a county anywhere other than Louisiana. 
The city of New Orleans and Orleans Parish cover the exact same area, and while there are parish government entities and city government entities, there are no competing forces between the city and the parish. So the city of New Orleans and Orleans Parish as a whole are equivalent to an independent city. There are 41 independent cities in the United States, 38 of which are in Virginia, and the other three are St. Louis, Missouri, Baltimore, Maryland, and Carson City, Nevada. Moreover, all entities in Virginia that are incorporated as cities are independent of any county as per the 1871 Virginia State Constitution. Other municipalities that are part of a county are incorporated as towns. Additionally, throughout the history of Virginia's current state constitution, seven independent cities have reincorporated as towns or merged with adjacent towns and became part of a county. Winchester holds the distinction of being the northwesternmost independent city in the state. Despite being the county seat of Frederick County, it functions as a distinct jurisdiction as just discussed. Winchester made history as the first city south of the Potomac River to adopt electric lighting. In 1917, the Winchester and Western Railroad linked Winchester to Rock Enon Springs, enhancing transportation for visitors and supplies to what is now Camp Rock Enon. A section of downtown Loudoun Street was pedestrianized in the 1970s, becoming a bustling area with shops and cafes refurbished with brick paving and landscaping in 2013. Apple Blossom Mall debuted in 1982, but the area faced environmental challenges in 1983 when a tire dump caught fire, necessitating a Superfund cleanup effort from 1983 to 2002. Winchester housed Capitol Records' East Coast Pressing Plant, which began operations in 1969, employing 250 people initially. The plant played a significant role in vinyl manufacturing, phasing out production at its Scranton plant. Notable albums pressed at Winchester include those by The Talking Heads, The Dead Boys, and Yoko Ono. Sorry. However, in 1988, Capitol Records terminated tape duplicating production in the U.S., including the Winchester plant, leading to the closure and unemployment of over 500 workers.
At this point, we haven't seen any major highways crossing or running concurrent with US 11 since we entered the city of Winchester. However, coming up, that'll change drastically. But we're running short on time, so that'll have to wait until the next installment. We'll conclude today's video halfway through Winchester at mile 328. Thanks for watching. We've enabled channel memberships, so for as little as $1 a month, you too can help support our channel and get early access to our regular videos as well as the occasional members only video. Click the link in the description to join. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.